Hi, my name is Seno Galchev. I'm a product marketing manager in our inertial sensor technology group. And we're here at LiveWorks demonstrating how our inertial sensors enable the uh, world of autonomy. Whether that's autonomous vehicles, autonomous robotics, uh, drones, and also autonomously uh, doing predictive health in factories, structural health monitoring for critical infrastructure, as well as uh, transportation infrastructure. So, for example, in the demo behind me, we're showing how our high-precision tactical and near-tactical grade inertial measurement units, which are inertial sensors that have three axes of linear acceleration and three axes of rate output, so a gyroscope, and how we're using that information both in the demo here but also in an autonomous vehicle to determine the uh, trajectory of, of the vehicle, essentially. So how does an autonomous car navigate without the availability of GPS or if there is a failure in its other perception sensors like the camera, LiDAR, or radar? Additionally, we're showing how our ultra-low power as well as our low-noise accelerometers can be used for shock detection, vibration monitoring, and other uh, motion sensing for uh, enabling autonomous infrastructure and also enabling autonomous cars because you can envision a situation where once there's no driver collecting information about the car and how the car feels, the car will have to understand its own condition. Are the brakes functioning? Are the bearings okay? Is the motor running uh, well? And, and so on. So actually in the demo behind me, we have, uh, we've created a, a race uh, for our um, booth visitors to participate in. They actually drive the car, but we use the, uh, the IMU on board the vehicle to essentially calculate its uh, trajectory and demonstrate how an autonomous vehicle will also navigate itself using inertial data. So there's no other information being used, just the inertial data as well as wheel speed information. Around the track, we've also placed our ultra low power uh, ADXL372, it's a low power shock sensor to plus or minus 200 G and we're using that to detect any time they collide with the guardrail around the track. Each time they collide we're adding, uh, we're adding time but you can see this uh, as being a real application where if a car crashes in a guardrail municipalities have to replace it in a short amount of time so that the next car that crashes in the same place doesn't fly off the road. And so we're using not only our uh, ultra low power accelerometer, but also our smart mesh IP. And we formulated a mesh network of sensors around the track, collecting information as, as the users bump up against it. So this is the demo we're doing. It's only a microcosm of the autonomous, uh, autonomous space. But if you would like more information, I invite you to visit www.analog.com. And thank you for watching.